How's it going, Magpies? Magpie Leon here. Back with another Gears of War video because that's probably all you're going to get all week. Uh, the Halo characters are here now and they're, I guess, the Noble Team skin, although it's really just Auntie Dart. <laughs> so, um, Emil's now my escape mode. In fact, no, Emil's just my main character in general now. Don't get me wrong, I still love Marcus, but to see a Spartan in a Gears of War game is massively epic. And uh, j just to those guys that said it was clickbait when I made the video straight after GamesCon after it had already been announced. Yeah, so clickbait. They are definitely not really in the game. Anyway, I'm gonna, let's get into the video, I guess. Um, so today, basically, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a tutorial. I'm just going to check the news feed. Welcome operations, what's next? Blah, 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 blah. Um... And then I'm going to show you guys how to make a map and how to share your map. Now, basically, as you can see, we've got the map sharing thing here. You just click on that, go over to My Maps, and click Create New Map. See, obviously, I made one earlier today that has just been published. So, if you guys want to go and try it, then go ahead and try it. It's, uh, it's a bit tough. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to find it tough, but I'm not that great at the game. You guys might not find it so tough. It's a bit tough on your own. It'd be a lot easier with other people. But the map's gotten through about 60 changes. Anyway, now I know what I'm actually doing. So, basically, you have two different starting rooms. You've got the mining start and the ventilation start. I did the ventilation start last time, so I'm going to start with the mining one. I'm going to have it facing here. Here are obviously all your tiles. Now, your chapter starts, your safe room... You want to put that every so often, as you can see in the top right corner. I was about to point at the TV, as if that would make a difference. But the top right corner, it says Chapter 1 Budget. And it, when your budget gets a bit too high, that's when you want to go to the next chapter. Because if your budgets go over the limit, then you can't actually um, do any, you can't make it anything else. And the game won't let you publish your map. So we're just going to put some corridors there. And we'll probably put a reinforcement tile. Now, reinforcement tiles, we'll get to them in a bit on what they do. For now, we'll just make chapter one, and then I'll sort out all the stuff that I want placed in chapter one. So if we get that. These ones are like swarm infested, so there's tiles that should look practically identical to them. Uh, as you can see, you've got... But they're both the same tile, except one swarm infected and the other isn't. You've got your large rooms as well, which they're the ones where your big battles would take place. So we're going to get one of them in here. And here we're just going to get a little dead end room. Uh, doesn't really matter what room you place too much, because it, it, like, it just doesn't matter, I guess. You don't have to put anything by the doors. It's a mining gap. Oh, wait, actually, I think we use that one. Yeah, that kind of looks that looks pretty cool. And here we will just place the tile for the next chapter. See, the problem I made it when I made my first map was I didn't actually realize how little some of the tiles were. So I basically just had a little corridor and then one of these big rooms thinking they were much bigger than they were and I ended up fighting nine pouncers at once. Now, if you look in the top left corner, you'll see tiles, portals, um, I don't think they do anything yet. Enemies, and this is where you can choose the enemies, and pickups, which, for example, if I wanted over here, let's say in the middle, add pickup, and then add a lancer. That means when you go over there, there will be a lancer and an ammo box in that specific area. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to play some enemies, and I'm going to show you what the, the mine nest does. If you choose the enemy, in fact, if we press X, we can set the chapter enemies. So you can pick any of these enemies to be the enemy for the chapter. And I'm actually not going to have the juvie. I'm going to have the leech instead. And we'll have that in chapter 2. We'll just go with the enemies we've got for now, although we should probably have an Amargo instead of the Swarm Sniper. 
So if I wanted some de some rejects in here, just put two. That means as soon as you start the level, come up here, there will be a couple of rejects in that room. In fact, we'll change that to one, and we'll have two in this room. So that means there's three rejects in this corridor altogether. Now if we set reinforcements, add enemy, and change it to leeches, and just have three leeches on there, um, that means as soon as you go near that, that will spawn in three leeches. So it's basically a spawner. Now we won't have anything uh, in this tile, but we will in this tile. We'll have an Amargo, and in fact we'll have three Amargos. Here we'll have a leech and two swarm soldiers. In fact, one swarm soldier, two leeches. You can't place enemies in this one, obviously, because you can't go in there. It would be kind of weird if you could. Here we're going to have a couple of leeches again. Leeches are, in a way, I guess, a bit like tickers. Um... They just slither along the ground and then explode. If you saw my video yesterday, you would have seen them and they were quite terrifying. Now we're going to have Swarm Grenadier up here because they're quite tough. And one down here. Over here we'll have a Swarm Soldier. We'll have Amargos. Leeches. Have a Reject. That's also saving Reject. And in that tile, we won't have anything. So overall, this room's got quite a lot going on. Not the hardest of maps, but I'll probably still struggle with it. Now, we'll add a couple more pickups. So there's a reason to explore the map. We'll just have an explosives one over there. And in this room, we'll have an ammo box. So there is an okay amount of ammo scattered through the map, but not too much. Now in this room, you're probably going to want to make sure you put pickups in here. Because with this being the chapter point, this is where you want people to sort of restock on their ammo. So we'll have three ammo boxes in there. And in this part, we'll have a, a couple of guns. We'll add the claw. And we will add the cryo cannon. See, now this is where the team... like. Working as a team will probably come in on this specific map because on escape mode you really do need to work as a team if you've got a team. So sharing loot is probably going to be one of the things that you want to focus on most. So it's a matter of do you let someone else have the cryo cannon and you have the claw or do you be selfish and take both? Now I probably wouldn't take both but I, uh, I know some people probably would. So we're going to make this area seem a bit more infected and we're just going to have a bunch of infected tiles. That has a door block there. And you can actually toggle which side you want that on. I'm going to have it there so someone can actually go in there and go back round. And what we'll do is have an, a, a decent little ammo pickup in there being the boom shot as well as an ammo crate. So it makes it worth going round, even though it would slow you down. We won't have an ammo box from that one, and we need to actually carry on the chapter. So go back to tiles, and we will have some ventilation parts of the map, which the ventilation tiles usually look a little bit different, and we'll just keep the map going forward a little bit. That one looks like a face. <laughs> Ideally, we could probably do with having that part. Obviously, this will be the big battle room of this chapter. I don't think it's quite as big as that one. In fact, yeah, it definitely isn't. So, what we'll do is we'll add some side pieces. We'll have some duck, uh, duct nukes on each side. Oops. In fact, we'll have a mining one on this side. Obviously, this one won't lead anywhere. But in both of them, you'll find some loot. Being some ammo and a weapon. Um, the weapon will be a retro lancer. And one side and a grenade, lan a grenade launcher lancer on the other. 
I actually really like the map creator option. And I hope they bring it to like regular multiplayer maps rather than just um uh, escape. Now on each chapter you can actually have different enemies. So on this one I can change the enemies altogether. So if I don't want any Amargo uh, any Amargos on this one, I just won't have Amargos. In fact I won't have any Juvies on this map at all, and the alternative will just be leeches. But on here we will have the flock. And the flock are actually quite terrifying. And we will also still have some rejects instead of the grenadier. Rejects are obviously on DBs, and I'm just being a little bit. Yeah. So we'll have the flock come in over here. Oh, oops. Right at the end, as you as you're about to go into the next chapter. So they're sort of going to be keeping you out. There's going to be two leeches in each of these side ones. Oh, not a flock. That's that would be a little tough. And through the map, we're just going to have a couple of leeches, a reject. We won't have any in that tile, although it is infected. Have leeches, swarm soldier, swarm soldier. <laughs> fact we'll get some swarm, uh, swarm sniper or two in because I completely forgot about them and that's that chapter done it's a I, I, I'd say it's a similar size this has got a bigger main room they probably right it, it's gonna be a relatively small map just to keep the pace going a bit and then, then we'll have the next chapter start And this will be the beginning of the last chapter, obviously. Now for this one, I'm going to just focus more on some ventilation class tiles. Just to change the appearance of the map a little bit. Um, which one should we go with? So we'll go with this one. And then that will go into this. A large section of this map, I'm going to sort of make a corridor type thing. I believe you can obviously access the other side of the room on that. And then. For our big room, we're actually going to have that. Obviously, you don't necessarily need to have like a big area on the map. I just prefer having one. And then, just for the sake of it, we'll have a couple of mining sections on the map. This one will actually lead to a different area, whereas this one over here will take you towards the end of the map. And for the ending, you actually need to get the hel frozen helipad, which that big white box around it, you need to make sure you've got no other buildings within this area. As soon as you reach the helipad, that's it, and you can finish the level. You just have to hold out a few seconds for the enemies to, you know, you have to finish them off. But he will have a mining nest. Although, the problem now is we're over the chapter budget, which means we wouldn't actually be able to create the map. So, what I think I'm going to do is if I delete that and change that into a smaller tile, that may fix the problem. We might have to go with a ventilation one. There is obviously a couple of other rooms for the extra large, extra large ones that we didn't use that we could have, but I don't think it matters too much. And we'll go with this one. 
And no, we're still over budget. We're actually more over budget now. Okay, it might just be a matter of... Oh. I'm clicking the wrong thing, aren't I? Deleting that. Getting rid of that part. And actually having the helipad there. Oh, so we're sign colour. This is actually a feature I haven't used. But... I, ah, that changes the colour of the chapter. So that's all that is. So that's not massively important. Okay, so I'd say chapter 3 is the longer chapter, and with most things being in a corridor, it's probably going to be quite tough. Obviously, we'll sort out the enemies first, and then we'll, we'll probably sort out the other stuff. Okay, we're going to have a warden on here. This chapter overall is going to be tougher. I have actually put the sires and pouncers and stuff on my other map and they are terrifying and if they get you in your own single player chances are you're not breaking free so other than that we'll just have a swarm hunter and a swarm soldier elite now obviously all of them are gonna have the claw so they're going to be relatively tough, so they won't be the primary enemy. The primary one will obviously be the Swarm Hunter. And they're going to be introduced here. Alongside a Bastion. Just, I'm trying to think of where to place the Warden. The Warden is going to be close to the exit. In this part of the room, we're going to have a try shot and here we're also going to have a stump try shot get two swarm hunters and a swarm soldier elite swarm soldier elite two swarm hunters i feel like i should have more enemies near the end part but it's probably for the best that i don't since they're relatively tough And I think that's that. I don't want to overdo it because I kind of want to get through this so I can obviously get the video out. And at the minute, this is sort of just the basics. I think it's still in early access. Now, actually, you can change. Uh, I clicked the wrong thing. <coughs> I can't remember what tile it was. So, was it that one? I don't think it was, but it might have been. <coughs> if you press Y, you can actually change the options of the tile and change the lighting of them. And that's just basically changing the brightness, so you can make them dim. You can also change the lighting type. So if you wanted it to be sort of like an emergency room, you could do that. So in fact, we'll do that here. We'll change a couple of them to sort of emergency. Just to show that it is indeed a threat. <laughs> and now we should re re we should we should sort out the weapon pickups for this section. And here the ammo pouches are going to be a little bit smaller, but I think I'm going to have a few more of them than before. And we'll add a couple of weapons in here too, except this time we'll make sure we leave enough for everyone. So we will have a retro lancer, we'll have a boom shot, and we will have an Emmy. So there's enough for everyone, and in fact, well, I can't actually put anything in that part of the room, but yeah, I, th I think that's all fine. Now, with the warden being over in this room, I feel like in here we should add a weapon that will help benefit taking him down. Although I don't think the warden's actually a proper boss type enemy. He is definitely going to be tough. In fact, no, is the warden the boss one? We'll have a medium stim in here. 
I'll have a small stone hint somewhere in there. See, although the enemies are going to be tougher in this section, I'm doing more weapon pickups to just sort of ease their fight a little bit. Now, I think that should be everything. I think that's all good. Doesn't say there's any problems with it. Now, when you press start and click play and publish, you then, obviously, you have the map requirements at the right. You need to add a thumbnail. You need to title the map. So we're just going to title this. Um, what should we title it? Just title it Horrid Hive. Horrible hive. relatively simple don't need to add any tags we just need to make sure we get a thumbnail so I'm thinking oh yeah that's the one okay so his picture is very different so I feel like we should yeah that, that'll do for the thumbnail and then we can play the map obviously for the map to be published we have to complete it ourselves and then you can publish the map. I think that's just so you can't publish a map that's too ridiculously hard because I'd be quite annoyed if someone if I'd gone on a map and it was just pounces and sires around every corner. Or maybe one that's just got 30 bosses. So once we've completed the map, you can then publish it and you can make it accessible to everyone. Sorry about my nose, I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. Now we're going to play as Emil for this. Emil actually uses the Talon Pistol, which I've got the Black Phantom skin for. Um, I believe all the characters would have different weapons. For example, Sarah Connor. Oh, it does. It, Sarah Connor has a Bolt Arc. Cat has the snob. In fact, I might actually give Cat a go because I've played as a meal and he is awesome. But I think we'll give Cat a go just because people don't seem to play as Cat as much, so I guess we'll showcase her off as well. I really like the intro cinematic for escape mode. I think it genuinely looks really cool. See, normally the characters would take a, a, a breather from like a, a mouth mask, but sparks don't do that because obviously they don't need to. And I think it's nice to do that. I'm hoping they eventually add like the snatcher and the other boss. Not I don't think the swarm act needs to be on here. I think it'd be too big for the areas. But the other swarm boss, I think that would be cool. If they added that. But the Berserker, I feel like, should be on there. I think it'd be like. There we go, we're in the game. Now we just gotta be really okay, speedy. It's armed. <laughs> Our mission can't wait. Let's do this. Fall back to the extraction point. Bomb is gonna blow soon. <laughs> oh, 
Ah. Uh, you can actually sing it, it like one tap. The amount of anyway. Okay, I'll get that. This room actually does look cool. Excellent. Wait, so uh, I did some stuff over here, right? I did not pull any pickles over here. Oh wow. That's, like, that's really cool. Oh wait, <laughs> I thought that was one you could jump over. I have a visual on the safe room. Yeah, I think. I can't remember if I added anything else to this room, but we need to get going because the fog stuff's closing. This room's open. Let's get in there. The and gas. That's everyone. Shut that door. Oh yeah, I need to shut the door. Okay, so far like we're doing relatively well. Oh, it just looks so cool playing as a spawn in Gears, man. Sterilizing. Any supplies you find, we'll need them. I'm gonna grab the claw first. I'm gonna take it over the overkill. And that way I can stock up on ammo. I actually haven't tried the cryo cannon yet. So I'm excited. Door opening in three, I also like that you can just aim with the heavy weapons now without it automatically putting you on the floor. Oh crap, how are you? Oh crap, I forgot about the flock. Oh, the cryo can actually destroys. Yeah, the, the cryo can actually destroys the men is really hard. We have a Anything that's too tough, I can't shoot the boom shot. Cover me! I'm reloading! Outstanding! All clear. Oh, crap. I'm so the emergency fire. lighting actually makes it feel much creepier. <laughs> Oh, they're practically a boss themselves. Not even a boom shot does much. Oh, I thought it was like that right off the Does the flashbang affect it? It does. It actually does. That's really good. Oh, that looks terrifying. That's huge. Let's do it! Okay, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, we can get the try shot. Oh, that's just help us out. Okay, so the lion's come back to the regular now. I'm telling you, this is going to be a really good way to get some try shots, but... Fight the warden. Engaging. Oh, they have a ridiculous range as well. Oh, I'm just terrified for when that warden walks down the corner. Oh, that's right. I 
you like disarm them or anything? You must have like a weak point. Oh, he's crawling. Let's see this guy here. Oh! Oh, they are so terrifying. Should help find the warden. Who should be around this corner, right? I don't want to fight him while he's in his little room now. Oh wow, he's actually much easier to kill than I was expecting. Other than the fact that he has an immunity just because he's holding his maces there. Oh my god! No oh! Thank god! This is mine. Oh, I know I don't have anything to fight with it, but. Oh, Jesus Christ! Just seeing him run towards me then. Point located. Let's go. Let's but move. I did it in one try. I didn't die. Okay, now you want, after you've done that, you want to return to Agatha. Once you're back in the editor, you want to go back to the play and publish. And then you can actually just click the publish option because you have now met all the requirements. So I'm going to publish the map so that other people can then play it. And that's everything. The map is now playable. If I wanted to go to main menu, people are can now officially play Horrible Hive as well as my other map that escalated quickly. Only real news reporter bros get that reference. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumb up and leave a comment down in the description. If um, if you tried the map, let me know what time you got on it and how well you did and maybe leave some suggestions of some of your maps after you made some and i may try them in a future video anyway guys it's been fun i will catch you in the next time